he is, he's such a humble human being, man. He is such a great person to talk to, hang out with. I've had a pleasure of just even just having the chance to go out to eat with him, hang out, spend a few hours, man, and just talk about anything. And Kana's one of those people who's a real humble human being, but also he's just such a passionate player. That's that's the beauty of Kana. He has such passion in his gameplay and in his personality that it shines through even into who is the way he plays, even into how he acts, and that's my favorite thing about him, man. Yeah. It's good to see him come back. Also, to add on to that, I've had K9 come to my house, and he he's a great guy. It was yeah, a long yeah. time ago, probably when esports was like half of this. It was, yeah. Yeah, dude, he's he's one of. I always tell people if for for the historians, there was a player named the DSF. Die Superfly, he was the OG. He was the player oh, who right. was, you saw him at every local, he went to every local, he was winning every local. And then you had Tyrant, who came along with DSF, did the same thing. Unfortunately, they were born in the wrong time. But who would they pass on their knowledge, their ability, their passion to? And that is K9 as Bruce, ladies and gentlemen. That is the player that at his, at his height, K9 went to a lot of locals, man. He was winning quite a few locals. Right. He made, yeah, he was definitely one of those players you saw winning a lot of locals. And that's the story of those three players as a whole, man. And of course, we have White Nova. Many of you guys have probably seen him at MSM Online. I know you and I both have. Right? Oh, yeah. And he's definitely one of those players, if I'm not mistaken, from this, I think, I, I could be wrong. Forgive me, chat, if I did not get it right. Uh, he could be from the San Diego area. Of course, if I'm not mistaken, I think he is from the San Diego area. And we do see him a lot here. Come, finally coming to MSM offline as we see him online. And that's the beauty, too. There were a lot of players that we didn't even know were from SoCal. Like Monty and Min Min and now White Nova. Of course, also from SoCal. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's definitely good to see that all the people from the online era are actually coming to offline tournaments to show their skill. Mm -hmm. And now, finally, we got a chance to see Kanan here into play as the Diddy. Uh, for White Nova, Kanan has actually had some experience fighting against Palutena. Domino, because his training partner was the Jump Steady, a Palutena main in SoCal, who also trains with K9 and Larry as well. Yeah, but Diddy Kong is a really good character. Oh, well, this, char this character, hands down, man, has no business still being this good. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I feel like they should have made. I feel like he, they should have made him at least like low tier because he was broken in, he, in this, Smash Four. Like, for all my like fighting game historians, I'm I'm sorry, Zero is just always top tier in every Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, but okay. Diddy is top tier in every Smash game. This character has no business being top tier still, yeah. even after a, a switch to a game. But for K9, he will be able to use a character he is more comfortable with, and you can see his comfort with the character still showing through. He did try to, I believe he was trying to do a run and grab after that, but that, that Nair coming out from White Nova, you can, there's, apparently, Pelotinus can never get enough of that Nair, like, yeah. ever. Oh, that, that is the Wheel of Fortune, man. You know that. Once you get that first Nair, that is a lot of, that is very fortunate da damage that you are getting against your opponent. Yeah, and... If you're the one that's receiving the damage, you just gotta, you just gotta hope that Fortune is on your side and you don't get hit multiple times. Yeah, good for Kanan to save his jump too. Fortune was on his side to save the jump and avoid explosive flame. Oh, the other smash not connected, but no punish oh, from White Nova. Should, I feel like he should have grabbed there. That gra grab probably would have helped. Maybe yeah. a back throw could have just given him stage control and gotten him the upper hand. Yeah, White Nova was able to get a back throw and stage control here, and that does give Kanan the opportunity for a throw. I don't like that choice. And White Nova definitely scoffs that up because he knows he made the wrong choice. But what a DI mix up there on the up throw because he sees the percent. Don't go for a back throw, don't go through up throw. That's what Kanan's expecting. Yeah, and it's one thing that I did learn is that if K9 goes on one of those platforms, it's going to be rough for him if White Nova's under him. Because White Nova could just use up air, up air, up air, and it could connect oh, into another up air. And that's what Kanan is accounting for here. And I think that's what Kanai is trying to do at this opportunity here, as we kind of see. Avoid being into a platform, a juggle situation, but also avoid unnecessary damage. And he's trying to take the stock as safe as possible. There is no forward and no up smash here, but Kanai is ever so itching on that opportunity. There's going to be the up tilt. That's a fresh up tilt. He's got a lot of damage at this point in the game. Yeah, that was a that was a good dash dance going back and forth just to show off, like, I got, I, I'm going to get you this time. I'm, I'm going to win this set. Mark, mark my word. Ooh, he tried to go for that monkey flip, though. And gets back with the barrels. I like that. Oh, oh that's good. That's good. He didn't panic. He didn't go for another jump. He didn't go for a quick up B again. 
He just waited to slowly drift and come back on the stage. Right Nova has a lot of control. I do like how he understands. Look at that percent. What can I get here that's safe against anything from K9? It's a back hit. Because chances are a lot of Diddy's live and die by that side B when they try to get stage control. But Nana, K9 with two neutral airs, not enough here. But unfortunately. Oh, wow. The banana peel to the mm -hmm. back there. That was really good. Using K9's own tools against him. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's kind of one of those things you can do against Diddy is use that banana against him an opportunity. Like I said, K9 slowly working up on that stock. He's trying to avoid the damage. Stuck on that platform, man. And that's, uh, that's unnecessary for K9. But for White Nova, man, he's able to understand the situation and pretty much continue this lead. He did use that monkey flip, the one that actually does the, the uh, attack and not the one with the grab, which is a good choice just to uh, do more damage. And I like that when, you, when we're talking about good choices here. That forward smash was a pretty good choice originally, right? He right. understands if I got him at the starting frames of auto radical, I would have definitely gotten the stop. Unfortunately, just a little too late on the execution, but I like that K9 understands. Cool. If I'm this close, forward smash has this much range, punish him for that option. Oh, he does have the ban banana peel now, so hopefully he can try to use it into some sort of combo here, or just as a setup to try to make it with the follow-up, mm. but that up air, wow, yeah, that up That's air. a read. That's yeah, a read. That was a, per that was a beautiful read, that up air just killing a multi-hit move and high knockback. Mm -hmm. um, Even if it's not up air, it could be Nair, it could be reading K9 going for a lower recovery or mm -hmm. the side special. And that's good for White Nova to understand those common options you will see from Diddy. Right. So, uh, let's... Hopefully, I'm, hold on. Maybe K9 will switch to Wolf this round? Could be a possibility. I am liking the Diddy choice a little bit. Just for more of a comfort pick, you will have better right. recovery options over Wolf. When Wolf gets juggled by Palatina and gets sent off the stage, those recovery options from Wolf are very susceptible to getting hit. Yeah. It kind of has a good understanding of what to do here. Uh, funny enough though, we will, like I said, Wolf is kind of a character I do feel like is K9 also personified <laughs> as an anti-hero. Oh, uh, but we'll see how the Diddy rocks, man. So far, slightly even percent here. No punish as he's able to be get behind Palutena. I mean, at least he's off that platform and not having to deal with the dangers of, of up air to up air. Yeah, and that's good for K9 to use that jump by slowly get back onto the stage, not overcome it to a side special. I like that K9 is trying to fake that out from White Nova. White Nova knows the options that Diddy has. K9 is not trying to give him anything like that. Oh, K9 was trying to go for that Nair, but... Oh, great back air. It doesn't yeah. look like it was uh, it connected in any way. That was an excellent back air, too, and good understanding of how White Nova was trying to go for that grab. That grab has been nerfed, thank God. Uh, <laughs> and K9 was able to get the back air indeed. What a great way to just hold that, that corner and then get the grab against White Nova. Using that peanut gun to his advantage just to interrupt White Nova if he's trying to go for anything off stage. Look at that reaction, man. Sets up the banana. What's your play, White Nova? I know, go for the punish. And I like that K9 opts to hold center stage. He's telling White Nova, you will not pass. White Nova finally getting the opportunity here after the banana toss of the Nair. Yeah, I mean, if he did go for a roll, he would have gotten hit by that banana, and that would have been a, a smash. Ooh, I like small skid, but I like that K9 waited to see if he got the tech chase. Saving the jump for the most prime opportunity to still survive. Yeah, Diddy Kong's recovery is really great since he could charge it and uh, with how much how long it lasts, so if he really needs to use that extra jump, he'll use it in the most dire of needs. Nice. What a patient. What a patient play. Ooh, oh, it looks like he probably should have gone for a near that time. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, the starting frames of up air will be enough with that wide range it has. Getting back to stage. White Nova getting hit by that fair, though. That was an interesting spot dodge coming out from K9. Uh, Ooh, he no was trying to go for that monkey flip, though. Why Nova trying, trying to establish control here. No neutral air. K9 slowly being able to just look. Uh, this, this is the change we, we need to see here from K9. And I'm glad that it's coming into play. The way he's been able to hold the corner, the way that he comes back with the barrels, K9 has finally kind of gathered himself here at the corner of the stage and learned how to punish White Nova for those get-ups. Oh, oh, what a change up. Wow. Oh, no, jumping into the blast zone. Dude. And that's so rough, too, because yeah. that's your first reaction, right? You want to move, but unfortunately, your hurt box, if you jump, you may catch yourself closer to the blast zone. Right. Very unfortunate, though. I mean, due to Diddy's very light weight, it's mm -hmm. it's very... Uh, it, it's, it's very it's susceptible. A, yeah. But he does have the banana peel this time. Hopefully, he could try to fix his mistake from last time when he does use that banana peel to down throw to an up air or an air instead. And 
Or he could try to go for a back air, but do it in a, a different angle. Ooh, just getting, barely getting hit by the explosive flame. Wow, that was, that was very unfortunate. Going for the down, the down throw. Just missing that back air, though. Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm holding my heart out for Kena here because I see, oh, the banana. Oh, wow, <laughs> banana peel coming in clutch. Let's go. No confirm off that, but it's still going to be the lifesaver for, for K9 here. That's what he needed at the opportunity. But now K9 looking to play the bait and punish game with that banana. That's going to be an up throw. Look at the back air here. The banana's still at the corner, and you know K9 was looking to hold center stage because of that situation. He's got to set up that banana again if he really wants to, because banana is definitely one of Diddy's best tools. It's it, arguably one of the best neutral tools you can have in the game. Oh yeah, definitely. I it, Even if, I mean, I, I didn't know that, but I would definitely agree with that. Nonetheless. Oh, K9, K9, please. Oh okay. my goodness, K9, me. that don't, was risky, K9. Yeah, don't scare me. Why Nova definitely almost walked away here, but the up smash will do it. K9 pushes that game three scenario, ladies and gentlemen, and that is so close as both players find the skin of their teeth, reeling back of how things went. And we're going to game three, our first game three of wave two. Yeah, uh, honestly, I was a little scared. I thought that was going to be a 2-0 from Winova. And I don't want to see K9 go down that way, but k is still able to fight for it. We see him slowly, like I said, bring together the pieces that he needs to do to win against Winova. We saw a lot of that dumb damage come from his edge guarding skill, his reactions to how Winova was going to try to go around with Banana. And that gave K9 so much. And then even then, the way that he would wait for Winova to react, you saw how he was able to just walk up to White Nova, hold shield, watch your play here, and then go off that. If White Nova did nothing, K9 will go for spot dodge. Unfortunately, to some of his demise, which is how he took some damage, mm -hmm. but also it's good for him to understand, cool, White Nova, did you go for an aerial? I spot dodge, up smash, I spot dodge, punish. That's what we're seeing from K9. And for White Nova, he knows Diddy is a pretty light character. If I'm able to stop Diddy from his favorite option, like side B, air, like aerials. I can do so, and Palutena has those tools to control that with back air, neutral air, and the use of auto reticle and explosive flame. And pulling out the banana peel right off the bat, getting down thrown to a fair, um, yeah, fair. Ooh, is getting hit by that, did get a slip on that banana peel. That was a good dash attack to just rack up some damage. Ooh, try to go for another up smash, but they did trade. That was a good monkey flip just to add up some more damage and mm -hmm. get minor stage control this time. And it was good too because he faded back into that neutral that we saw from White Nova. So he was able to punish him for one of his favorite options. Right. The and favorite, of course, of the character because it's one of her best tools. Ooh, getting hit by that net. Oh, that, that neutral beat and almost the ex explosive flame. Using the monkey, monkey flip to get back to stage and the barrels. I like that too. And he rolls at that prime opportunity, seeing how Wynova committed to try to go for a throw like that. He's, oh, he did he did the down oh. throw. Oh, just missing the side smash. Oh my goodness. That would have been the stock too. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He's missing these smash attacks left and right. So you see that up smash as an anti-air option because Palatine out of shield might have gone for a neutral air oh. or a try to go for something out of shield or an empty hop. So we see how K9 tried to make that early read. What a charge up here and stock for stock, man. Blow for blow. K9 is not going to let Wynova get any sort of lead. We're getting hit by his own banana peel. Down throw to fair. It, White Nova was trying to go for the Nairs. The up throw to the up air. Wow, these co these combos are coming in clutch just to rack up this damage. That was an interesting trade getting hit by the explosive flame. Yeah, though. the double diddy up air is the classic as someone would speak here. And can able to demonstrate <laughs> that. Uh, that is the classic Diddy, right? Go for the side special and then possibly get punished or you get the hit. Oh, just spot dodging that monkey flip. Uh, that was I like that monkey flip here, but I want K9 to slowly reel that back, man. White Nova ain't gonna let that go unpunished that entire time. Yeah, it looks like White Nova is just getting too oh, no! oh, no! He did slip on the banana again, but he used his attack get up this time. And K9 oh, did get back. hit. What a rollback. Oh, let's go, you right up. Yeah, center stage here. K9 is not letting him get that much. Oh, I, I, he could have gotten back air. And I apologize been. to everybody watching the VOD, the chat, man. I just have such a heart for this player that is K9 as Bruce. Because he's such a legend in his own right. Why no but trying to bring up his own legacy? Let's that up smash, up smash, man. baby. If at first you don't succeed, man, try and try again. And that pro goes on to prove that. All right, back throw. K9 saving that jump. I like that. Goes for the deep barrels. I mean, the chances of that up smash 
connecting since White Nova is so used to it are mm. very low, but never zero. And look at that. Each it's down to the final stock of this set, man. Game three holds that shield against that dash attack. That is no double up air. But K9 almost with a real back forward air, only being stopped slightly. Empty hop. What a play. What a play to stop out from White Nova there at the ledge. Right. Oh, like that's that. for the up air? Okay. And I like that from White Nova. Go for the neutral air because K9 has been really happy with those forward airs as well. K9 was reading a lot of those uh, getting off of the ledge. Choices. Ooh, nice. Nice fair to come out. Pulls out the banana peel. It is behind him now. Ooh, he, wa he wanted that. Hopefully he doesn't get hit by his own banana peel. Tries to go for the short, uh, the short hop fair. All right, K9's going to watch the landing here. I like that. Hold that shield. Down throw. like that. Wait, I like that. He waits for how White Nova's going to play that. And that's going to get his feet on the ground. No play yet. That is going to be a throw attempt here. No back air. I like that. Hold the stage a little bit too early on the up smash. But I like the play because he saw how it was on the platform. Oh, that was a nice spot dodge. Ladies and gentlemen, K9 Woo! is The king is back. The king is back. I'm going to give him a hug. <laughs> Let's go, K9. Give him a hug, Vance. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was clean. That was that was a clean up smash. Wow. Everyone going to K9, just giving him a hug and congratulating him. That was that was a great up smash. Oh, dude, that's that's. Did you guys see all of SoCal? Like they were they they. We were all quiet, man. We were all shook for a second. I tell you, man, that's he is the original. Like he is like the hero, the anti-hero. He may have never been like, you know, the king of Smash, but he was the king in many people's hearts. Oh, yeah. And K9 still goes to show, man, he's got it. Even against White Nova, a, one of the, well, an up and coming player in his region, in SoCal, in San Diego. So good stuff to K9, man, holding it out, man. What a, whew, I'm telling you, man, there's a lot of bias there, but it's because it's all love for the player, man. That was a close match, though. It yeah. came to last hit situation. <laughs> yes. And it's good to see him, man. Even if he goes out today, if he doesn't make it any far, I'm just happy to see. You know what, man? He's able to hold out on his own here and move up further in the bracket, even in from Wave 2 Pools. Of course, coming up next on stream, we are going to see Con Con here against Player Unknown. Of course, I do not have the bracket for me. Actually, let me see if I can take a peek. Take a peek. I do have Con Con versus Syro. Actually, two bodybuilders coming up next on stream. Yeah, I actually, I feel like I should ask them to flex on the stream to see who, who's who got it. Who's got it more, man, you know, because <laughs> Cyro, man, I've, I've watched that kid, that man, since he was, what, 16, came to an MSM, came to a tournament. Nobody knew who he was, got top eight, and everyone's like, who is this Falco? It disappeared with a legacy, came back stronger and harder, SoCal ranked, a bodybuilder, health, health enthusiast. All in one package, man. He, he literally says it, man. You can play Smash and you can be healthy and you can do the things that you want to do. And Syro is definitely one of those players that demonstrates that. Not only as a personality of who he is, but as a player. Alongside Con Con, who was able to, who was able to do great things in a sense with his degree of skill. But not only that, his degree in life. And put that all together, man. Those are two players that I definitely enjoy seeing of how they've come from where they were to how they are now. Right. And this together. is also going to be an interesting matchup of Luigi versus Roy. Oh, yeah. Dude, I, funny enough, so Elegant actually lives in the region of SoCal known as the Inland Empire. He had moved from OC to the Inland Empire uh -huh. area, so he's much closer to players like Cyro. Funny enough, I have not seen Cyro versus Elegant even pre-COVID. So th Whoa. this is actually kind of new to me in terms of Luigi versus Roy. That's the thing here. You would normally see Cyro have practice against Luigi. But in this case, I don't know how that's going to go. Oh. So, Mighty Man, man, we, we, we got some good matches here. Just wave two pools. Yeah, wave this two, is... Wave, wave, yeah, wave, wave two Wave two pools. is where it's at. It's where it's at. <laughs> yeah, wave two is definitely where it's at, man. What a, what a showstopper that is for k 9 s Bruce. And, of course, we're going to get another showstopper here between Cyro and Con Con, Luigi versus Roy. I hope you guys are having a fantastic night, by the way. Joining us here at 2G Gaming on the on Twitch here. If you guys have a heart, hit that follow button. You guys will be notified when we go live. As we go live, if you have even more heart, any any cash to spare, man, $4.99 gets you that ad-free viewing. No more ads. Jeff Bezos doesn't even work at Amazon anymore, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you got that Prime Gaming stuff, man, give it to 2GG, because if not, some